Hey. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> here we are. We're here. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Welcome, everybody, to our first official live. <laughs> Hopefully, our first live of many <laughs> to come. There, there you go. Yes. Yeah, we're sitting here. We haven't floated away yet. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't turned the RV into a boat. <laughs> uh, actually, the sun's finally popping out now here, so it's looking like it's going to turn out to be a nice day. We yeah. got one heck of a rain last night. Whew, yeah. It was a bit, and yeah. pouring down. So you could hear it on the roof so bad. <laughs> Even this morning, it was raining so hard. Yeah. So if you haven't seen, I put a video out a little while ago uh, showing some of the flooding going on around here. So it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Kinda crazy. We've never camped in this part up here. We're up in the t upper part. We're trying to get where we can get satellite um, um, for Dishy, you know, so we could have internet. <laughs> yeah. We had to have Starlink because our AT&T and T-Mobile is not working very well here. So, so we had to come over here where we could at least get some Starlink. And I can tell you right now, we may uh, buffer some. Yeah. Because according to our Starlink, we're expecting interruptions like every four minutes. Yeah. So I'm yeah. worried about working. I work tomorrow <laughs> night. I hope it's good for tomorrow. So ho hopefully it won't do too bad. If it does, it's only been for a few seconds. Though. Yeah. So hopefully we'll come back. Yeah. We so. appreciate everyone coming today and spending some time with us on a Monday. Everybody, hopefully everybody's Monday's going well, you know. <laughs> All right, I'm going to look over here and the chat. Like we got Mel Nettie. Welcome. Hello, hello, miss you guys. Yes, yes. You know, we separated, parted ways yesterday. They yeah. went south. We came up north here to uh, Lake Tawakini, yeah. which is where we're at. Yeah. And Timmy Ray, welcome, welcome. And yeah. thank you so much for sharing that out. Appreciate it. Thank yes, you. Yes, so much. Yes. Hello, Naj. Hey. Roy and Becky Reed. All righty. Thank Love you. you Thank you for coming over yes, here. Yes. We appreciate it. It's a ja raid party. <laughs> James Catanese. Welcome. Yes. Glad to have you here. Welcome to our very first live. Yeah. Official. Official first live. Yes. <laughs> We've had some impromptus. <laughs> yeah. Put that up there. Yeah. Let's see. Catherine Cook. Thank welcome, you. welcome. Another Glad to have you here. Roy and Becky, yeah. Going green mom. Coming over from Roy and yeah. Becky. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Misha Lead. Hello. Hey, hello. Hey, welcome. welcome. Roy welcome. and Becky. Hello. Hey, Roy and Becky. Thanks <laughs> for over. putting that up and telling everybody yeah, about it. We appreciate the support from you guys. We really so much. do, yes. Um and Becky or Mel. Some highs to Tim. Sugar. Hello, Tim. Hey, Tim. Listening <laughs> while doing some chores. I yeah. know. That's a good idea. <laughs> uh, I was going to do some chores now, but our campsite here is kind of flooded. So yeah. I'm not going to be able to do much around here nope. until it dries out. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Um, hello. Make us feel like we're on an island. <laughs> Cruising scene. Hello. Hey, Welcome. thanks for coming. We appreciate it. Misha, Catherine. Ooh, got snow. No, no. <laughs> we got, yeah, you can keep the snow. Actually, yeah. I was looking on the radar, and if you look up in the panhandle of Texas, up by, uh, I think it's Dumas, Texas, they're actually getting snow right now. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's like craziness. Crazy. No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, no, and I think She Devils, She Devils Adventure. Thanks welcome, for coming. Welcome. Yeah. Another boy and Becky Raid. We appreciate it. Yes. And I think I'm yes. caught up on the chat. I was holding back tears because I was so sad. I know we see you later, but <laughs> it's hard to leave our friends. Yeah, that's yeah. one thing about this living this lifestyle. At least, you know, someday you'll see people down the road. But it is still hard to say goodbye. It's sad to say, you know. Enjoy, enjoy meeting up with everybody. We do love this trip. We've met so many people and so many great people. It's yeah. been great. Yeah, if you've been following us, you know we've been we've been trapped. Well, we've we've lived in our RV since 2020. Yeah. Um, but for the first year and a half, two years, we we're mainly stationary, except for the summers. Uh, so now we're actually full time. Uh, we left our home base back in Tennessee last June, and of course made our way up to see our kids in Washington State, and then came down and uh, was a couple of months in Quartzsite. And now we're slowly making our way back to our home base in Tennessee. Yes. We're going to do the uh, eclipse here with some friends in Paris, Texas. And then from there, we're going to kind of beeline back to Tennessee. Yeah. Uh, not looking, looking forward to it, but not looking forward. No, <laughs> uh, we do have a leak at our cabin at our home base. 
Uh, not sure where it is. If it's inside, if it's hopefully it's underneath the house. Um, <laughs> but luckily, uh, they shut the water off to the house, so it's not continuously flooding. So we're yeah. gonna have we're gonna have to take care of that when we get back. Right. Twelve in the chat. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, Rose. Yeah, she had to um, go. She's heading out today. I heard her beep, beep when she left on the live. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Ooh, I agree. No. Going green, Mom. Weather's crazy. It is. We went from crazy weather because we were down at Lake Lakeless Medina. Yeah, where there was no water. <laughs> where there was no water. And it was pretty warm because we were running our air conditioner day and night. And then we came up to Lake Whitney and we didn't have to run the air conditioner, but it wasn't, it, it was wasn't, nice. It wasn't yeah. cold. It was nice. Uh, to hear, to, I don't know. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's rainy, but they're saying the next few days we're only going to get up in 50s and 60s for high. So I don't like it. <laughs> kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. I want my spring, hot spring. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. I'm ready for And then summer. we come here and there's too much water. And it's like, I think they need to share some of this water down there with uh, Medina. Uh, <laughs> going green mom we're not sure we don't even nobody's been in the cabin yet uh we could have gave it we have a next door neighbor that keeps an eye on our property yeah uh, he mows the grass for us and stuff but and there's a key he could have got yeah, access to we, we do have a lock box outside we could have gave him access but we didn't worry about it we just yeah. asked him to go over and make sure the water was shut off uh, so, because I was going through my medical stuff when all that uh, happened, and that was just one more thing I didn't want yeah. to deal with. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm hopeful that it's hopefully below the house. Yeah. Because um, we do have one of the, it's a window air condition. It's a window air conditioner slash heating unit that we have there. It's only an 800 square foot cabin. Yeah, it's very tiny. So we have that thing. You can set it for, you know, a certain temperature, which we have it set at 68. And if it gets too cold, it'll turn the heat on and heat up. If it gets too hot, it'll turn the air on and cool it down. So we're hoping that the leak is down below underneath the house. Yeah. So since uh, it was warm in the house, yeah, we were there last, not this winter, but last winter. And we, right at Christmas, we had a hard freeze and it did freeze underneath. Um, it's cheap. It's just a hunting cabin. Yeah. There's it's just, just thrown together. You know, a couple just, of guys threw it together. It ain't nothing. <laughs> It's, it's, it's yeah. just a place for us. It's, it's just that cheap PEX tubing down beneath. Yeah. And not a whole lot of insulation on the actual water lines. Um, it is enclosed under there, but really not very uh, not very well. So we're hoping it's below. <laughs> Hope it's that little. So uh, Team Crazy Awesome in Tennessee. Where are y'all at in Tennessee? We um, have a little home base outside of, it's about uh, 80 miles East, east of, of Nashville. Nashville. I don't want to say west. East of Nashville. So I was just curious where you're at. Yeah. yeah. As we're headed that way, we're headed to Tennessee in a couple of weeks. I guess yeah. two and a half weeks. Yeah, we love it. We got lucky and got that uh, piece of property. We were actually just looking for some land. Yeah, for just to have a piece so of land to could, pull on. We have a home base and you'll hopefully put some electric and water out there. Um, but we were trying to shop from Washington State. And every time our realtor found something for us and went to, he would do a virtual showing. Uh, by the time he got there, it was sold. It's sold, yeah. Except well, there was a couple of not so good places that yeah, we found. But yeah, the that, really good ones went quick. So he came up and he knew that this guy that he had sold this property to was thinking about selling. So he talked to him. And uh, the guy said, yeah, he wanted to sell. So we kind of backdoored in. It never hit the market. Yeah. Uh, this one didn't. And it came with a nice, like I said, 800 square. It's a little bit over an acre. Um, it has an 800 square foot cabin on it and a, I think, 13 by 20 or 13 by 30. 20, something like that. Yeah, a little brand shed. New, brand new shed on it. Uh, so we ended up buying this and we've had a power run from the house out to the shed to where we have a sub panel and it has a 50 amp hookup for us. And of course, we can run water out there, so it's really nice. It doesn't have septic for the RV to do this. You know? Yeah, we're just going <laughs> to tap into the septic into the cabin. Yeah, so that's what eventually we want to do. Yeah, I agree. Going green, we need to put some. There is some heat tape that was there once. Yeah, um, but it's all tore up and it doesn't work. Right. So we do need to probably look at redoing that. All I know is the next time we leave, we're turning the, we're water, turning off. the water off to the house, <laughs> to the again. cabin. I don't know why we left it on, to be honest. Okay, he grew up, she grew up around Gallatin. Okay. Oh, I know where Gallatin's at. Yeah. Okay. I know where that's at. We've driven through that. 
Yeah, Misha Lee, we love Nashville. Oh, yeah. Nashville is so much fun. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of neat places there. Even like the Children's Museum is amazing. I mean, you know, it's just a fun place to go find something to do. Yeah, yeah we have waterfront property now. Yeah. Yeah, right now we have back, yeah, backyard prop, uh, front. Right. Um, I thought it was crazy seeing that video I put out this morning. I walked just over here, right? We're, we're in a little cove here where the marine, uh, the docks are there building here. But it's it's literally 20 30 feet behind our rv yeah and, but i go over there and i was talking to the guy there he got here two weeks ago and the water was 50 feet behind his rv when he got here and now it's literally right up to the back of his rv it is it's crazy <laughs> i would be thinking i'm leaving if i was over there i don't know i don't want to be in no boat <laughs> I don't think these things float well. My brother lives, oh, Diane, lives in Johnson City. Oh, I know where that's at, uh, too. Yeah. yeah. We Johnson. have not been there, though, but I know where it's at. Uh, yeah, just keeping up with this chat. Yeah. Some people saying howdy. Yeah, hi to everybody. Yeah. yeah. Gainsboro. There, you're in Gainsboro? Who said that? that okay, so shut up. That's right by us. Ooh, right here. Uh, you, you ever hear? No. Go, where'd you go? You lost them. I'm down. Okay, hold on. Ah! Maybe they went up. Yeah, right here. Team Crazy Awesome. Oh. I asked them where they Hey, at. Gainesboro, our cabin is literally it's Whitleyville. not even 10 miles outside of Gainesboro. We call Gainesboro our little town. Yeah, when we go to town, we go to Whit go to Gainesboro. Yeah, Have Whitley. you eaten at the pie peck? What's it called? Pie peddler. The pie peddler. Have you ate there yet? Oh, there's some good <laughs> food right there. Okay, we moved to Kingsport. to Kingsport to Johnson City. Yeah, for a year before moving to Texas. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, hey. I, we've only been through Kingsport. Yeah. Hey, Ivan. Hey, Ivan. Hey, Ivan. I think I know who your guest is. You said you were cleaning up. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> now we know who your guest is. That'll That's be awesome. fun. That's awesome. Yes. Uh, so good. Most leak like a sieve. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think we could float in it for real. <laughs> yeah, but back to Gainesboro, we basically call Gainesboro our town. Yeah, that's when we go we to town, out. we go there. That's where the Dollar Trees is at. Yeah, and then of course, or no, over, Dollar Generals. It's Dollar Generals. Yeah, we go over to Cookville. That's where everything's at. The WalMarts and everything. Yeah, we got to. Yeah, the, it, Cookville's like the big town. You know, you can go out to eat for dinners. Usually, you go there. What's that <laughs> other dinner place though in Gainesboro? It's real good. That little. You know, it's like a pub, like, oh my goodness. It's been a minute since Not we've been Bull there. And Thistle. Yeah, Bull and Thistle. Bull and Thistle. Oh, that's so good. Irish pub, yeah. So good. And then there's that other one. It's a couple of up. Um, oh, yeah. We ate there once. Can't remember the name of it. Silver Spoon or something. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, heck. <laughs> Haven't eaten there yet. It's good. Oh, yeah. The Whitleyville Processing oh, Station. Oh, <laughs> yes. They yeah. do have good meat there. You're right. See? <laughs> they, they post on Facebook every week that, hey, we're open and we have this, this, and this. They post, so, post yep. a bunch of meat they got processed. Yeah. <laughs> so we really live on almost the border to that next town. What's that town, Wait, what, what's that town right behind us? <laughs> See, we've been there in a minute. <laughs> we've been there in a while. It's a town just, yeah. yeah. It's just right. We're really on the border to that town. We're not really in Whitleyville. I don't understand how we got to be called Whitleyville, but. Yeah, we're nowhere near that processing plant. <laughs> oh, too funny. Oh, you're in the town of Churchill, which is, oh, right outside of Kingsport. Okay. Yeah. Willette. We're right down the hill from Willette. I know it was a W. Willette, yeah. So we're right <laughs> by the border to Willette in that yeah. county that's right there. Uh, city, town of Church Hill, which is right outside of Kingsport. That's it. Yeah, he was saying that. Okay. Back when I was in the Navy at our first duty station, we lived off base for a little bit. Our next door neighbors, he was Air Force. Yeah. I won't hold that against them. No, right. Just, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> they were the sweetest um, people. Yeah, very nice people. They were actually from Kingsport. Yes. So. Yeah. The Travel Channel featured a floating RV. Oh, no. <laughs> My RV don't have pontoons. We don't have no pontoons <laughs> on us. I don't know what we do. I would just cry. <laughs> so. But I haven't looked out. Terry looked out a while ago. She said it looks like it's starting to that, dry the up. The site in front of us had more water in it, and now it's a little less water. So, yeah. so the sun's <laughs> kind of out now anyway. It's seeping in the ground, I reckon. I don't know. I'm almost kind of 
trying to convince Terry to move. Yeah, we might move somebody, another site because it can get better internet. But yeah. it's a you know how hard it is to move. Yeah, somebody wow. somebody over there left this morning, and they're opening that open field where we get a wide open uh, spot view to the sky for our star. I just have to pack and everything. It's, it's not as up. wet over there. I pack everything <laughs> back up. You know, you yeah. know how it is. Uh, we could drag some stuff over there. <laughs> We don't go out each much, spend all of our spare money fixing up our camper. Oh, oh fun. Wow. Yeah. Well, there's some people that live like across from us. They bought 72 acres on this big old mountain right across from us. And they have a schoolie. And that's what they do. They um, spend time fixing up their schoolie. And they go over to the dump and get things sometimes, you know, whatever you need to drive <laughs> and fix it up. And then they eat stuff right off the land and stuff right there. So they don't eat out a lot either. Yeah. We don't yeah. either. I mean, it sounds like we'll, we do, but <laughs> we'll have to check you out there, Team Crazy. Yeah, awesome. awesome. We'll be back there. What'd you say? And we're gonna be back before the fifteenth because we gotta yeah. pay to the the you know the taxes. We gotta be back before the fifteenth of April to do our taxes. <laughs> we gotta figure that all out because so probably I think you said like twelve days or something. We'll be home. Yeah, be back here in no, Tennessee. Twenty days. Twenty days. Okay. We'll be back before twenty days is up. Probably. Yeah, it does move us away from the water over there. <laughs> It does. We're way away from the water. It'd have to come up a bunch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I might walk over there and check out that site. And see what it looks like. See how hard of a move it'd be with all the water. You know, you don't want to get your tires stuck and deal with all that either. So uh, I don't think there's any water over there. So we'll see how it goes. Well, we might get stuck. Well, I guess here's kind of, we're on some gravels here. Yeah. See you at the Dollar General. Which one? <laughs> I know, right? There's so many Dollar Generals. And then there's opening up that Family uh, Dollar with yeah, the Dollar I, Trees down the road. I don't know. I don't know if that Family Dollar is it's quite open yet. yet. They were building it when we left. Yeah, I think getting ready. I don't even know if they were actually building it. They hadn't they, built it when we I left. Think they were just starting. But you see a lot. We follow a lot of the chatter on, uh, you know, Facebook, and you see a lot of people talking on it. Your birthday is two days after tax day. Ooh! I know it's something to celebrate, right? <laughs> Nettie's going to be. 29. 29 years old. Daddy's going to be 29 years old. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's open. <laughs> oh, it's open now. We'll have to check it out, I guess. Huh? <laughs> what uh, else do you do, right? <laughs> yeah. Because I got the Dollar General in Gainesboro, and then there's a Dollar General that opened while we were there. Right. Right up from Helen's restaurant. Right there. from Helen's. Helen's is the best. Now, if you want to get some good food, Helen's is the best. Catfish is good. Oh, goodness. Yeah. And we sound like we eat a lot, don't we? But, you know, yeah. when you're there for a while. <laughs> They built a new family dollar next door to Dollar General. They like to do that, and I don't get it. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Mine is five. My uncle, kids, uncles actually on tax day. I'm worried about. It. We'll I know. See. We'll see what it looks like. I don't know. We'll see what tax day looks like this year. Yeah. <laughs> Because I've been working all these jobs, we ain't been taking them taxes out. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be scary. What do you want, my blood? Joy says, Oh, meow. hey, Joy, get, get, meow, get, meow. Get. <laughs> that was so funny yesterday. She was sitting in the truck waiting to leave. Yeah, she was sitting in the console. It's time to go, it's time to go. When we're leaving. <laughs> and they wasn't even going in the truck, neither they were going in the RV. <laughs> Yeah, she loves it. She's a good traveling dog. Cat dog. <laughs> She's a good traveling cat. You see ours, they sleep. <laughs> they see the yeah. bitty bears sleep. over yonder sleeping. Over here sleeping. That's what they do now. They're old. They saw these two. There's this man over here. I don't know if he's still here. Got two little Pomeranians. It's young, only a year and a half. Year and a half. Yeah. Yippity things. I was like, did ours ever yip like that? I'm sure they did. I don't know. Well, the funny thing is, one of them looked almost like their dad. Yeah, it looked the like their dad. Used to have. And they were real curious on that one. They was trying to smell it. <laughs> I like that. Joy's part dog. Yeah, see, she's part dog. I know. She rolls in the ground and stuff and likes to go on walks. It's so fun watching her. It is. We love her. She, yes. She, she was ready to hit the road. I know she was. She was like, let's go. It's time. It's like when we do our lives on Friday night, she lets them know it's time to be hanging up now. Come on. Come on. Time's up. It's my turn for attention now. Ooh. 15 yeah. 15 awesome Ooh, thanks for coming everybody we really appreciate it uh, we're yeah getting, we're getting ever so closer we're still just i don't know i don't think the uh youtube updates the watch hours over the weekends yeah on the weekend because it, it happened last weekend our hours didn't change over the weekend 
But then all of a sudden, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday, bam, it just started going up. Right. Same here. It's staying right there. We're we're just over 500 watch hours we need. Right. And it so, hasn't moved. And I'm like, why isn't it moving? That, and I ran our channel on my computer the whole time. That you or, know? or we're victims. You know, we didn't have anything 365 days ago. So Yeah. So that might affect this, right? Those days at the beginning drop off. Those hours drop off as you're trying to gain at the end. Yeah. I hate that. Mathematical It takes stuff. a few days to update. Yeah. Yeah. But it seems it seems like during the week, though, it's it's pretty constant going, changing. But yeah. uh, over the weekends, it just nothing. Right. Our husky acts like he's part cat. Ah. <laughs> he sit on the windowsill like cats do. Oh, how cute. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, this one loves to watch birds. So I think maybe he's got a little cat in him. The birds have been crazy out our window here. And he has loved it. Then we went by the, the little lake here. And he could see out. There's a, people fishing right behind us, Earl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> some people fishing right behind us. Sorry, I get distracted. Squirrel. That's her ADD kicking in there. Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. But we went out there. We was looking at all them ducks. You know. I apologize. I have to see that on live screen here. Yeah. <laughs> oh shoot, doggies! <laughs> Dang. Yeah, that was the first time she had ran it. She ran it under her own profile. Yeah, I ran it under my profile just to see. Um, you know, would it change anything? Cause it ran for like, for, well, I had, you know, it glitched in the internet once and then I had it on all night long the next day. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. The Alamo. Yes. We had a blast. I mean, that's been on our bucket list for a long, a long time. time. So. And I really, at first when I wanted to see it, you know, I'd only seen it in movies or whatnot. I didn't know it was in the middle of that city. So the biggest thing when, if you go is parking, no one, maybe plan ahead of time where to park. We didn't know where to park. And that was our biggest issue. Yeah. Um, I'm not really good at researching things. When we go somewhere, I'm like, oh, let's just go see it. I need to really get better at, you know, that whole detail of everything. And, <laughs> you know, so that was, that was a pain with that, yeah. with the park. And we found well, somewhere, well. but it's okay. It says $5, $5 for 30 minutes. What in the world? <laughs> so we ended up well. paying like, I don't know, twenty dollars. I mean, it ain't bad, but still. <laughs> yeah, um, I think it was Melanie. Somebody was telling us that they used to not allow videoing inside of the Alamo. Yeah, um, was wondering how we had videoed. Uh, there was no signs. The only thing that said in any of the rules or that we read, we and I do research this online. Uh, they said video is allowed, just no video and still photography allowed, just no flash. Right. And we were talking, we were talking to the one guys because in that video they have all the flags and there's numbers on each one of the little flags. So we asked the guy that worked there and we says, Hey, what's, what's the numbers mean? And he went to this whole big spill of explaining what it was. And when he got done, Terry's like, dang, I should have recorded that. And she was sitting there holding the GoPro. I had the GoPro. So if I, so, we weren't allowed, they would, he would have said, you know, you yeah, can't film that So here. the worker didn't say anything. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. The one thing we hate though, we got outside of the Alamo and we was walking around and they shot the cannon off. We forgot that they were going to do that while we were there. We completely missed that. We just totally <laughs> missed that. So wish we'd have got that on film, you know? So if you go, they shoot that thing at like 10 30 and 1 30. So yeah, it's kind of cool to see the old cannon shot off. Oh wow. <laughs> 70 pounds. <laughs> he doesn't hit in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's too cute. A little runts. Little they, babies. They stay up there. And the little one, though, he sticks his head out the window when there's critters out there, and he makes me nervous like he's going to fall out the uh, window. <laughs> going green, Mom. Yeah, you, you see it, and we explained it and talked about it in the video, but the numbers on each flags, that's how many people were killed at the Alamo. That they know of. That they know of from each state there. Yeah, and there's not a lot of them, but there's some countries there, too, that are represented as well. So, yeah, some other foreign countries. I didn't get any of that on film because they were up in the front, and I didn't realize you know what they were so we didn't go back toward the front you kind of leave out the side so we didn't go back up that way but um because you know um what's his name david with no daniel moons was there no, no david, david crockett. crockett david crockett you know i get them two interchanged all the time uh, david crockett he was there and so that's that 30 that came with him from tennessee so um yeah. i don't know if you ever want to watch a good movie though they got the alamo and it's got the the duke in it what's his name wrong you know, John, Wayne. John Wayne. This is a good movie right there. 
Hey, Wonders Chasing Horizon, I still hey. have your channel right up here yes. on my tab. I'm going to be going to check you out and yes, be, so become glad friends you're... with you. I know, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Glad you're here. I know it was really interesting about those flags. I just was like, that's neat that they represent that. And then they knew that, of course, they did, you know, some people they couldn't find or they don't know where they came from. So you always have that in a war situation. Well, the thing that was crazy in that church, because the church didn't even have a roof on it back at the time. Yeah. And so that part that at the back there where they had the little memorial, they had actually built a ramp up there. And that's where they actually had some, uh, I don't remember how many cannons, they but there's some cannons. cannons up there. Yeah that they were actually shooting and that's what they were using that for. Right. And Phil Collins has collected, I mean, buku amounts of stuff. And so you go in this back part and the exhibits and has all the stuff that he has donated or whatever to them. And then there's a diorama there that you can look at and listen to him talk about it. So that that's in the video, a little part of him talking about it. Yeah. I thought that was super interesting and yeah. that he, I mean, yeah. how did he get all that stuff? You know, how did he collect it? They're also in the middle of reconstructing part of the Alamo. So there's a whole section outside that's all been tore up and they're reconstructing. Yeah. And so that's going to be neat when that opens up. Yeah. You're welcome, Wanderers. Yeah. Cool yes. Um, mentioned in there too, the, oh my gosh. And someone commented that all the gift stores are usually yeah. expensive. And I know right. that we've been to, we go to a lot of national parks, but I don't know. The prices in this gift store store seemed much. like they were way over the top. Right. For I've, everything. I've never seen a t-shirt for like $47. No. <laughs> and I mean like, so we'll go to a, like a national park. Let's say we just went to Sora, right? And they had, they have, they had two different t-shirts that were $19.99, right? And then the others went up from there. Like, but the highest was 25. That was the highest. So I didn't understand, you know, like, okay, 20 bucks for a t-shirt, you know, it's going toward whatever, right? It's not the worst, but 40, you know, they didn't pay that much to have that thing made. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. The Alamo video was yesterday going green mom. Yes. It yeah, just it went out out. yesterday. Right. Yeah. You would think so. Is it run by Disney? <laughs> I know. Hey, our kids are at Disney right now. I'm so jealous. Uh, our, our daughter and yes. two of our grandkids are at Disneyland I'm like, today. if you see Winnie the Pooh, I want a picture. <laughs> If y'all know I'm a Winnie the Pooh nut. <laughs> oh, Nettie, Nettie's asking too soon, but should I go? Yeah, ahead? here's our next. Here, um, here you go. Here, here you go. This is what we're going to play every time on our live. Yeah, about one halfway and, through, right? And this, is, and this is what uh, Terry came up with this one. So here we go. <laughs> you the truth so that was our first question yeah so nettie led right into that perfectly perfectly and i don't think she knew anything about this little segment right huh? <laughs> but anyway she asked what's our travel plans yes um, here well we don't have a whole lot um <laughs> well we're headed so from here we're going to go to our friend's house in paris and we're going to mooch dock for then the we, eclipse. And then we're going to his brother's house for a night. And our, he lives in Arkadelphia, Arkansas. And then that's too far to our house because we don't like to drive a lot. We're going to stop somewhere in the middle there. Probably a harvest host yeah. to spend the night and then hit home the next day after that. Right. And then we'll be um, there for just a bit because, uh, you know, we got to get that fixed, taxes. Yeah, I don't know. Um, and then after that, the, we don't know. The only hard plans we have after that when we get back to Tennessee is we know we have to be up in northern part of North Dakota at the end of September uh, because yes. we're actually going to go up there and we're going to do some work camping. Uh, we're going to be working the uh, sugar beet harvest up make there. Some cash. So make some <laughs> cash. So we'll be in the north part of North Dakota uh, for most, if not all, of October. Right. And then we don't even know what we're doing after that yet. After that, because our original plan was to do winter in florida next winter but we don't know um, she, if we want to drive all the way back or not yet so yeah um she was kind of wanting to be back in november for voting in tennessee and then go down to florida but i don't know at the end of october my whole goal is going to be get out of north dakota because winter is going to be moving in <laughs> and so to me i just think i don't know it seems like it would be better to uh 
go from North Dakota and just go back to Quartzsite again. So that may be our plan. We'll have to see so, what it looks like. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. And, yeah. you know, we're looking for some other work. Maybe something might pop up. Yeah, I do like, know on the way to North Dakota, I do want to go back to Ohio. My mom lives in Columbus, Ohio. So I do want to go up there and visit her. Yeah. So that'll probably be part of the plan. Right. And it just depends and on if we can find a job. Yeah. And, just, and um, wondering, wonders chasing rod never been to Disney. Yeah. We haven't been in a long time, you know, but when our kids was young, we went a few times when it was cheap. I don't know. Now it's like I, our, daughter, our daughter that's there now is fixing to turn 33 and we haven't been to Disneyland since. All she the was kids little. were little. Yeah. <laughs> she was so, little. so it's yeah. probably been 20, 25 years it's been a long time, since we've yeah. been there. But I know it's just so expensive because yeah. we tried to go. We went and met some friends at out. What's it called? Not outside, but downtown Disney. We met our friends at downtown Disney. And to get into Disneyland was like, oh my gosh, you got to buy a car for that price. I don't know. Uh, no, I, I don't want to do it. I used to do income taxes. To, yeah. uh, when I was in the Navy, I can't remember the name of the program now. But yeah, they used to train certain people that wanted to to do taxes, and we would help out and do the taxes for the young sailors, the young. And he did ours guys. for years. You did. And ours I did years. ours forever. But now that I own my own business and stuff, I don't even mess with it. We've got an accountant. Actually, it's it's just H and R Block. H and R Block. It's the woman that works there. <laughs> yeah, she does it for us. Uh, I typically don't like H and R Block, but I'm telling you what, she was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Uh, on our tax, we just took all our paperwork to her. And boom, she says, okay, I'll have it ready in two like, days or in whatever. two days or whatever. And she had it ready. And she had it ready. And we went back. and She explained she, things really well. And it so, was nice. So, yeah, that's who we we're going to go back to. Yeah. And then. Uh, my, I'm hoping to. Yeah, we've seen a lot of videos on it. So I feel uh, like we'll be able to show you. I, I've watched a ton of videos. Um, like during our lunch breaks and breaks, we can take some video it's, footage. It's going to be hard. Um, the harvest bead, if, if you're out there looking for money. Yeah. Um, the actual, you're not out in the field harvesting. You're actually piling the beets that the trucks bring in. Um, and these things are huge. If you look at these beet piles, I forgot how wide. Some football I wanna, fields. I want to say they're, they're like 100 <laughs> feet wide or something. And anywhere from 25 to 35 feet tall and three quarters of a mile long. Yeah. That's the pile of beets. Um, but if you, you know, you, you only actually work between 10 and 14 days typically. Yeah. So you're not working a whole lot of days. So you're not working a lot of days. You are working 12 hour shifts. Um, for the first eight hours, you're at normal pay. Something an hour and we're going to both be working it. Right. And then after eight hours each day, it's all time and a half. If you work on Sunday, it's all double time. Uh, the, the good thing is, too, with the beets, they can only harvest them between certain temperatures. It can't be yeah. too cold. It can't be too hot. And also, if it's really rainy, the trucks can't get in the field. So they'll, the shut, stuck. <laughs> so they'll shut down the operations for the day. If they shut down the operations for the day, you still get paid four hours, yeah. whether, you, you know, whether you're at work or not. So it's a good way to make real fast money. They say the typical average that you make over the 10 to 14 work days is about four hundred dollars a person. Four thousand dollars a person. Four thousand dollars a person for that little so, bit of work. And, and some people make up to five, depending on if you get a lot of that double time and all that. Yeah, and then they do provide a campground. That's free. Camping's um, free. They try to get you into a full hookup. If they don't get you in, they only get you in a water and electric site. They provide honey bucket service to come twice a week to empty you out at their cost. So yeah. it, it's a pretty good deal. So we're just going to try to get up here. We're going to try to build up our little uh, emergency fund our just emergency a little fund, bit. Yeah, build that back up. <laughs> so that's it, what we're going there to get a quick. It's taking some hard hits. <laughs> uh, you work 12 hours a day. Yeah. So uh, they say it's not hard work, but it's standing outside for 12 hours. You either work the day shift from 8 in the morning to 8 at night, or you work the night shift 8 at night till 8 in the morning. So I'm not sure. We won't find out what shift we're on until we get there. But they do alternate. If you do it this year and you're on days, if you come back next year, you will be on nights. Yeah. So they, they flip it back and forth each year. So So we'll let you know. We'll try to keep everybody up to date on that. 
Uh, oh, and they're going to be in court site in the fall too. Wondering. Oh, okay. That'll be fun. We, we may pop back in there. We again. may be there and then go. We and loved it at court. We did. Yes. Such a great place. Uh, going green mom has an aunt in Columbus. My, my mom's actually right outside of Columbus. It's Westerville. In, uh, Westerville. Yeah. Uh, my mom is deaf. Uh, she can't hear her talk. And so she's in a nursing home there and it's like a community. It's called Columbus colony. Yeah. Um, and it's nothing but deaf people there. So they so, can talk to her and communicate so, with her. So it's a really good place for her. She's been there for quite a while. Yeah. And you were pointing out. Um, James has family in Kentucky and Ohio. Awesome. Okay. Kentucky and Ohio. Oh, we did TurboTax forever too. That's what I used to use when I used to do it. I used to always use TurboTax. Yeah. Um, people messing with them. Yeah, big money, big money to be made. I hope so. Yeah. I don't see any more questions. I'm looking. Please All right. Go. Ask us anything. What do you want to know about us? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that would be hard. I can't flip my schedule like that. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Um, a lot of people get tired. I mean, it's exhausting. Yeah. Um, but I think it's mainly just those long hours. And the bad thing is you are outside. You're outside. So that's hard so, for a lot of people too. So, and you're standing a lot. Uh, like I said, it can get cold, but I think, I, don't quote me on this. I think they shut down if it gets below either 28 or 30 degrees. I thought it was 30. So yeah. Yeah. So right in there. So if it gets colder than that, they'll shut down. Um, the bad thing is, is you're, uh, you don't, when you get your lunch breaks, which is paid and your breaks that you get several breaks through the shift, uh, it's in your car. You have to go to your car to eat and they, rest. And you, I mean, you're out on a, a concrete pad with these piling machines and there's really nowhere for you to go, uh, to get out of the weather. So that's why they say you have to have your car and you sit in your car for your lunch and your breaks. Yeah. So, um, I'm wondering Chase, are you full time? Yes, we are. We are full time. We've lived in this R. We've lived in this RV since February. February, February twenty twenty. So um, five years. So going on, yeah. Well, because you count this as right. 20, 20, 20, no, four years. Twenty five. Okay, four years. Four years. Uh, <laughs> like I said, though, the first we used to be teachers. Uh, we used to teach up in Washington State. And we had sold our property to our daughter and her husband. And for the first year and a half, two years, we lived on their property. Right. We just stayed right there. So we didn't really move other than we did our travelings as teachers. We used to go in the summer. We would always travel. Uh, one of our kids used to live in Pennsylvania. So each summer, our trip included a trip out to Pennsylvania. And, and little and, stops along the way. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, the year we sold the property and we <laughs> moved here and we, and we bought the property in Tennessee. Our kid in Pennsylvania moved to California. Moved to California. <laughs> so, so, so now yeah. <laughs> yeah, we thought the Tennessee would be kind of in the middle. So we'd have a resting place between going to see people, or whatever. Well, you know, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good question. Yeah. Team Crazy Awesome. Yes. What All do right. you do about laundry? All right. So I have a washer dryer combo in the RV that when we are full, hooked up to full, you know, like we have a dump or whatever, I do laundry here. I, it's smaller. So you have to do smaller, more frequent loads. But like for the comforter or if I have anything big, I have to go to the laundromat. So we stay at a lot of thousand trails. And so we, they have a nice laundromat usually there. And so I do it there. Now, when we were in Quartzsite, we stretched and tried to go do laundry every two weeks. And so um, just to try to save money, right? And because, you know, you're paying for all these washing machines there. So we go every two weeks and do laundry. And places like that. That's kind of uh, what we, we do try yeah. to always um, stretch things out. But like when we were working full time and we were at that, we did thousand trails for a year while we were working. And I had to use the laundromat because in the springtime in thousand trails, you couldn't get a full hookup. So I used their laundromat and I'd go like every Saturday morning to do laundry. <laughs> well, the bad thing about in Quartzsite, and if you ever go there, the laundromat is, is a crazy Ooh, madhouse. It's a mad I don't know. And I there. thought we went the last time we went, it was going to be less people. It was still a lot of people. It was still a lot of people. And these one people, but like, I don't know, these like 10 uh, washer scenes. No, it was more like, I think 11 or 13 oh, washer scenes. They 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 like, there's other people that need to use washers. Goodness. <laughs> Mel and Eddie, how long you been traveling? Um, well, all our lives. Ever since anyway. I went in the Navy. <laughs> <All right. laughs> 
<laughs> all our lives. But anyway, in the RV, we started way back when we started. We got it. We had we call her Betsy. We had a little class, class C. C. We went and we grabbed our kids. They's grown and one of our grandbabies and drove all the way to Ohio, from Washington to yeah. Ohio. He wouldn't let us use the restroom in the RV. Though. I'm just gonna let you know. <laughs> We didn't use the shower in it because we didn't know how to do all that garbage you do with all that. So we had to use the, you know, the bathhouses, all these campgrounds yeah. we stayed that at. Was, that was our first camping. Well, I don't know. We had the tent trailer before that. We too. did have the tent trailer that we did weekend um, trips all the time. Yeah. We had a tent trailer that we used to camp in. And we drove we in moved, from Florida. Yeah. We transferred from Washington down to Florida. And of course, along the way, we sightsee. I was on leave and we camped along the way. And then when I transferred from Pensacola, Florida, back to Washington, we did the same thing with the tent trailer. Yeah. So, and then we bought that Class C, our first cross-country trip, just for fun. We took five days to go from Washington yeah. to Ohio. <laughs> we spent five days at Cedar Point in Ohio, it's and then five days to drive back to Washington. Yeah. So, yeah, that was probably... A baby, she was a baby. It's got to be 2012. I'm 12. gonna tell you that was 2012 because yeah, right she was a baby. She was a baby. Yeah, because yeah, our granddaughter that went with us was a baby. And she's baby. 12 and years she's old. She's 12 now, now. <laughs> at Disneyland. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we did that. It was a blast. But then we've been traveling. We did every summer. We went. Right. Okay, Wanderers. Nice Open. event since November of 2022. Okay. Awesome. Love it. Do you ever boondock? Yes. yes. <laughs> we just learning how. Let me just tell you. We, we just, was doing the Wally World, you know. Yeah. But Be before we went to Quartzsite, we got there at the beginning of January. Before Quartzsite, the most we had ever boondocked was three nights. Mm -hmm. uh, that was at the wall up in South Dakota. Right. Um well, besides the time the power went out at the house, we had we ran our generator. Well, we, uh, that, that was uh, about a week. Yeah, at our daughter's <laughs> house, we lost power for three days, but we ran the generator for three days. Yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't too bad. So, but um, yeah, and that was just back on regular lead acid batteries. This time we, I have swapped my batteries out from lead acid to I've got lithium. I went from four lead acids to four lithium, so that makes a big difference. Uh, quartzite, we did two months. Uh, yeah, we learned a lot there. We did about how to get water in our yeah. tanks. Um, that we what kind and, of solar we needed, and and we had a lot of support. We Roy had and so Becky much support. And, yes, and, thank uh, you, thank you. Tim were there. And, yes, uh, other people popped in there. That yeah, they were a lot of help. You giving us a lot of advice and a lot of help. And yeah, so but, thankful um, for that. Yeah, we do. We, we're one we of the best the, things I think we've we have joined is we got we're Harvest Host, and we absolutely love Harvest Host. We've stayed at a lot of them this time. And, uh, yeah, typically in between places, a lot of times we'll spend the night um, at Harvest Oats. We used to do the Walmarts, the Cracker Barrels. Cabela's. Cabela's and stuff. And what's it, what's Cabela's other thing? Bass Pro. Bass Pro Show. They're, I think out of all of them, Bass Pro Cabela's is a really great place to camp in most yeah. places. I do. But, we, that was better than but Walmart. yeah, but now <laughs> we just mainly we'll do if we need a place to stay for the night or whatever, we'll do a harvest host. Yeah, and you can Google around and find some really inexpensive campgrounds though oh, too. I think this is a trick question. I know, here. right? I think so too. Do you enjoy that? No, it's boring. Ah! We don't, we don't. <laughs> it's our favorite time. We, we love look, Friday nights. We look forward to it. <laughs> it you is. know, like we plan our time all right. Because like we was gonna first on Friday, we was gonna go to the presidential thing. You know, this Friday and go. Oh, we can't do that because what if? You know, it's in Dallas, so we had to slip it. We're going to the presidential thing probably Thursday, right? And then we're doing something closer on Friday <laughs> because we got to be here for that. <laughs> we had some friends up in Washington that we were meeting up with. Of course, we hadn't seen them in a year and a half. Yes. And you're like, well, when do y'all want to get together? Well, we can't Friday night because we go live. We go live on, on Friday <laughs> night. You have to meet us another night. So we couldn't even do that. I know. We can't miss, right? <laughs> oh, what is Thousand Trails? Oh. It's a camping club. Um, yeah, I think it's pricey to get into it now. Oh, it's we great. bought it a long time ago and we paid it. We didn't, I know we was at one of them RV shows and they sold it to us, right? Okay, yeah. And we was making payments on it. And by the time we ever used it, we'd had it paid off. <laughs> yeah, we didn't use it for the first, gosh, six, years. Eight years. I don't, I don't know. know. We years. had it forever and paid it off. But <laughs> what it has is you can purchase, they got different zones throughout the country. Yeah. And you can purchase what they call the zone pack. I'm not going to get to it. There's so many different plans. But the zone package, you can go anywhere. It's a camping club that you buy into. Yeah. And then you're able to stay. They got Thousand Trails all over the place. The Except only, for the middle the only, of the country. The only thing about, and I hate this about Thousand Trails, is 
you got a bunch down the west coast, you got several across the south, and then a whole bunch up the east coast. The whole middle of the country is pretty much nothing. Nothing. Um, and some of them are kind of run down just a little bit, yeah, you know. I don't know. They're, they haven't been They work bad. for us, though. Uh, there's some other packages you can add on, like Encore and things like that, that'll fill in some of those campgrounds, but that's an extra charge. Right, yeah. And we don't have that. We have all the passes. Um, the membership we have, we can stay at any thousand trails. And within, we can go park the, to park. And we can also go park to park. We can park. stay 21 days. And we can book out 90 days ahead. Yeah. Some of these newer packages, you can book out 120 days ahead and you can stay at some of those fancier parks. Yeah. And some of the packages, the lower ones, if you go into a park, you go like either 14 or 21 days. And then you have to be out of the system for seven days yeah. and go back. And we really wanted that park to park so, thing. So, yeah. I don't Trust know how we ended me, up with the best thing that we even, got. But... Even though we didn't use it, we've gotten our money out of Thousand Trails. Oh, yeah. Because for the entire last winter we spent in Washington, we were bouncing from one to the other. They were 30 minutes apart. Yeah. We'd go to the one typically 21 days, go to the next one. 20, yeah, and we just back. went back and forth and you don't pay. I mean, you pay a little annual fee, but well, nothing, we pay the monthly $40 well, a we month. We pay it a month. They just yeah. put it monthly. But we yeah. do monthly yeah, fee, like 40 bucks a month. Right. Or my favorite food is pizza. I'm just going to say that right now. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> and I love some chicken wings though. Pizza. <laughs> Pizza. If I can have pizza and chicken wings together, I'm set. I love pizza and I love her lasagna. She makes really good <laughs> lasagna. So sweet. Yeah, he does. So I figured out how to make it in the RV now. My daughter-in-law, uh, she showed me these noodles. It's called no-bake noodles or something. And so I've been using those and he loves it still as good as the old kind. Because I didn't have a pot big enough to boil and make them noodles in, you know. Yeah, because we don't have an oven. We yeah. just got the convection oven. Yeah. And so if it don't fit in there, we can't. We can't cook it. And if I, I don't know. I don't can't store a big old pot in here. It's too much. Yeah, no, I do not. <laughs> That's too much. No, I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like anything slithery, crawly, creepy. Mm -mm. Somebody was asking last Friday's live because of course. Yeah, because our live was all about snakes. Was about snakes. And, and we talked about it. The reason they did it was. Because of me. That's why there. we had that topic because me because she knows I don't like them. Yeah. I'm not as bad as my daughter though. My daughter can't even stand toy ones. <laughs> Too when funny. was the last time you had the gin? Oh, we we used it. Uh, oh, that's eight, twice one, a day. One of the things we learned in uh, quartzite, we didn't have it. We don't have any solar. Right. And so I had went and bought a little portable solar panel kit, like the little suitcase one. And we showed up there with that, and it was 200 watts. There was two panels in the suitcase, 100 watts each. It did nothing. And that wouldn't do anything for us. Because we have a residential fridge, so that yeah. kills us. Yeah, our we, refrigerator kills us. Our residential fridge kills us. So I ended up ordering a second one, a second set of panels. So I had 400 watts. And during the day, that would at least charge the battery up some. It never would get it to 100%, but it would charge it up a good bit, probably 15 20%. And uh, that would get us through the day. And then typically at night, I would run the generator to get the batteries up. And then that would, uh, we both wear CPAP machines too. Yeah. So we have to do that overnight. So um, we'd get it charged up enough to do that. And then sometimes in the morning, I'd have to crank it up. But if it was going to be a nice sunny day, I didn't run it that much in the morning because I knew the, the sun would bring up the, the power. Yeah. So yeah. Um, since we've left Quartzsite, I think we stopped at one harvest host. Well, we stayed Denny. in. We stayed in um, Ironwood. Oh yeah, we went to Ironwood outside. Yeah, where Steve is. Yeah. Uh, we did use it there the same in the same way. We had our panels out too, though. Right. Um, but then between there and here, we stayed in Deming, New Mexico, at a harvest host, and we ran it a little bit that evening just to charge the. He just likes to out. feel comfortable with it charged up. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Since we've been in Texas, we haven't run it. Matter of fact, I probably should run it here. Yeah, he probably here. We're gonna get a lot of stuff done. Yeah. Get tanks well, I, I've drained, got all the clean. stuff I need to service it right now too. Yeah, I've got everything to change out the oil and air filters. Yeah, all uh, right. No, you watch it <laughs> because she said watch them. It's a thing. It's a show. Is that? Do you watch mountain oysters? Yeah, and then go watch the next one. Watch them. It's is that a thing? Is that a channel? Or? Is that a thing? Huh? All right. And then do you eat them? No. Uh, eat them every day. Uh, he's alive. <laughs> All right. So then these people boondock full time over a year. 
That is oh, wow. so awesome. You've got to have we solar. We can learn from you then. <laughs> You've got to have solar. Yes. Woo. <laughs> and some so great ways to do some things. Yeah. yeah. We could probably learn a lot from you. All right. We love having you. Yes, we do too. Oh, we love it. Cool. Thank you. Yes. Just got oh, back home. Hey, hey tired, Steve. Uh, tired old timers. And welcome. Steve's welcome. Here. Hey, Steve. Steve hey. here. Hey, Steve. Welcome. Jim Glad and Sandra to have you here. from Alberta. Thanks for Alberta, being in Canada. Yeah. It's Jim and Sandra. Oh, she dropped the link for Thousand Trails. Nettie did if you want to check it okay, out. Okay, yeah, there you go. Thank you for that. Thank you, Mel. And Eddie. Choo -choo, it's going down. Hi. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Love me some pizza. I know, right? Yes. So good. I might surprise her later this week. We'll see. <laughs> there must be something nearby that he's already Googled. I had pizza <laughs> yesterday and pizza rolls five minutes ago. Oh, yum. We haven't had pizza rolls in a long time. I know. Time. I almost bought them. Okay, look, see. We was over there at the Brookshires in that little town of Whit Whitney. Willie, Whitney Willett. What is it called? Whitney? Lake Whitney. Okay, we was in that little <laughs> store. They wanted like $4 for them. It's just some egg rolls. I didn't get yeah. them. She tried to tell you on the live yesterday, if you were on our live as we were traveling. But yeah. um, Lake Whitney, she keeps wanting to call it. Whitley because we live in Whitley our home base is Whitleyville, Tennessee. I can't quit doing so she it. She keeps saying Lake Whitley. It's not Whitley. It's Whitney. So he has to kill, correct me. <laughs> That's oh, what we're here for, so, right? Oh, yeah. Wanderers closing her eyes and they have a residential fridge, too. Yeah. Wow. So you got to have you some, got some good solar. We'll yeah. have to check you out. I want to upgrade my solar someday. It would be nice. Yeah. I would love to be able to just boondock. I know because it's fun. We enjoyed it. Oh, look, like Domino's is nearby. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? Oh, look, I made some pizza. Yeah. yeah, there's something else nearby, too, that Terry don't know about. So What? What? But, um, <laughs> uh, going green mom, yeah, we love and we hate our residential. We love it for the size, and we can put just about anything we need in there. But, boy, it's a power hog. Yeah, it is a power hog, but I love having it. I don't know. I love having it. I don't know how you could talk me out well, of it. <laughs> tired, retired old timers. If you're going to be in North Dakota. It's just a short it's drive. Just a short drive. <laughs> I know. I've contemplated going at least to Spokane to see our son when we get done. Because he's just right there. But you're the weather. It's the I'm weather. nervous about the I weather. Was, We've been there Thanksgiving and had we, snow. We we left Washington. We were up there. In, November. Was, we was in was November. It was the end of November. Yeah, the end it of November. It was coming to California. Do we know another way down? Or... No, we already talked about this. <laughs> From Spokane. <laughs> <laughs> Still going through mountains. <laughs> but uh, I was worried about leaving Washington State that late, uh, especially you get down at the California-Oregon border at the Siskiyou's. Yeah. But we got lucky. We went through there. It was clear. But I swear the week after we got to uh, California, the following week, it was snowing like crazy in that pass. Mm -hmm. So we were so glad to get out of there. I know. We was nervous. Yeah. You can solve anything oh, with some money. Yeah, homemade galoshes. I know. I want to yeah, try that. Yeah, we got to go out and make some of that money, Steve. I know, right? We got to make some money. <laughs> what was that homemade? Yeah. Yeah. I keep bugging her for I some I know. I got to go and get the ingredients. Oh, I love galoshes. He loves them. Well, the, the when I went to school at the NRVTA, they're the ones that first did turned it us to, on him. to I know, because they kept having them. I can't remember what it was. But it was one day they brought in a big old box full of galoshes. I'm like, what are kaloshes? Yeah, because we've never heard of it, you so, know. So, yeah, that was good. He loved it. Oh, there's a Pizza Hut, too. <laughs> <laughs> no Pizza Hut. No, what? All right. All right, I'm not seeing Oh, any. I have two mini fridges because my single wide is the sun. The Makes was. sense. It was work surfing. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hey, what? I it love works. that. If it works yeah. for you. Um, we had an old trailer years ago that my mom and stepfather gave us, and it didn't have a fridge, so we bought one of those little mini mini fridges, and we took it with it because they came and got it back. You know, they took their trailer back. But anyway, <laughs> we kept that little mini fridge, and we used that even when we had the tent trailer. We'd have it outside for the kids to get their sodas and their little juice boxes out of so they weren't coming in out the trailer all the time we had a tent trailer you know letting them bugs in whatnot so um, we just sat hey, outside yeah. hey welcome real robert rockwell hey, welcome. welcome going green mom what are galoshes galoshes are things you wear on your feet it's like you know, rain, it boots. Rains, it's rain boots but we're talking about coloshes with a k yeah with a k <laughs> galoshes they're, is they're like a they're like a little hot dog wrapped in a 
I don't even know what kind it's, of. It's like a biscuit or a roll. Like a biscuit roll or something. And there's a sausage, really, is what's in like it. Like a sausage inside, inside it, yeah. And uh, they come with them different flavors. They have them with cheese. They've, I've seen them with jalapeno. Yeah. Um, I know she's picturing rainbows, but it's kaloshes. It's with a K. <laughs> it's with a K. It's a big thing here in Texas. I just want you to know every donut shop you drive by says they got kaloshes. Oh, there you go. Go check out Mel and Eddie's video. There. I know. That's why I told her I got to watch it because I go, I go rewatch that because I don't forget how you made them. <laughs> Make the homemade kaloshes. I know. It's so. cheaper that way. <laughs> <laughs> love that yeah so much fun i know so next week we's coming on and it's april fool's day but we still gonna be here don't be thinking we're fooling y'all <laughs> come with your best april fool's like gag that you've ever done or something you know <laughs> as a first grade teacher yeah. i hated april fool's day yeah, yeah going green like pigs in a blanket yeah it's like pigs yeah. in a blanket yeah but just kind of like that except that it's pigs bigger. in the blankets, usually the hot dogs are sticking out the end. Yeah, or something like that. This is completely it's enclosed, enclosed in the bread. In the so, bread. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost yeah, I, like if you took the croissant and put it inside. Yeah, maybe that's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, though. It's a lot yeah. Of, a lot but yeah, good. definitely come next week with all your uh, April Fool's stuff. What was yeah. the worst one you've ever had or the best one? And we'll kind of talk about some of the things because, uh, you know, as teachers, we got lots. <laughs> I hated it. I hated April Fool's Day. And like sometimes it ends up on spring break. Like this year, the teachers are safe because it's going to be spring break for them where, I, where we worked. So they ain't got to deal with these first graders trying to do some April Fool's jokes. They don't know how to do it. <laughs> yeah. Them, oh, yeah. They have them in, going, in donut shops. They do. They're in I, donut shops well, everywhere here. The only thing I hate about the donut shops here in Texas. They close at 1 o'clock. They open at like 4 o'clock in the morning and they close at like 1 o'clock. So afternoon. if you want to go get some for tomorrow, you can't unless you go in the middle of the day. <laughs> It's craziness. I know. So, so we don't like, think about it till like in the evening. Oh, I want some donuts tomorrow. Oh, they closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love it though. We really appreciate y'all coming today and spending time with us. Yeah. Anybody got anything fun they're doing before we go? Yeah. Oh yeah. Don't forget Friday. Friday. Yeah. Seven p.m. Central, Central. We go live, and this week is going to be traveling with Merton and Sue as our guests. Yes. And so if you haven't met them, they're that. amazing. And we, hopefully they bring their puppies along because their puppies are so cute. Yeah. Yeah. We met them when we were at Ironwood. Yeah. Super, super nice people. They're just amazing. Uh, we, yes. we sat and spent the night for the evening. Just, just chit-chatting chit -chatting forever. You know, for a was, while. So it was really nice. And they do got little puppies. I can't remember what kind they the are. The Boston Terriers. Boston Terriers. Terriers little they're puppies. just so cute. Yes. Yeah. They're awesome. So we're excited. Now you're hungry. I know. Got to have another meal. Ooh, I like a fried pie. No, they're not quite like a fried pie. No, they're not fried. They're baked. They're baked. But <laughs> now hungry. I want a fried pie now. <laughs> She's hungry again. I know, right? <laughs> Ooh, so you're um, traveling to Kingman to, on Thursday. Oh, that's nice. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we're here till the 5th, and then we're going to go to Paris. Yeah. We're going to Paris, Texas. <laughs> yeah. We're here till the fifth. We just got here yesterday. Yes. So we're just enjoying it here. We're going to do we some sightseeing we're going to do because I need to get some um, videos in our back pocket because, you know, because we deleted some footage. Oops. And um, so we didn't get to travel a lot because I worked a lot while we were down in the San Antonio area. Yeah. You can send an email if you want to be a guest on our Friday nights. Yes. Uh, all, each of our emails are traveling on adventures at gmail.com. Right. Mel Nettie Living Freeze It Codeless at gmail.com. Roy and, and Becky, Becky, Roy and Becky's Travels, travels uh, at, at gmail.com. Gmail and then Nettie, you're going to have to call Kenny's. Is Ford, man, Ford, man, Ken, Ford Man Kenneth Oaks, right? I think it is. is at that, gmail. I know he's got a couple of different channels. He but does. I, I think his channels. is the same. Yes. So Kenny from there. Love, love Kenny. Yes. He's so um, fun. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't make it in last week. Yes, he had a little activity um with his church, and so he Which, didn't make it in. Um, I was hoping him and his uh cat was show cat up. was going to show up, but he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so Ooh, we yeah. missed Kenny and, and his cat last we did week. Miss him and his cat. I don't know if you weren't there. That was a hoot on that cat thing. So <laughs> that might be a question you can ask us next week. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we've enjoyed being with y'all. Yes, we absolutely have. Thank you, everybody that showed up for this. Uh, we, we love having you here. Such a blessing. Hopefully, it's fun. We're always looking for inputs. Yes. We'll make it better. Yeah. Tell us um, what we can do. But it's not going to be the three hours. <laughs> it's just one hour on Mondays. On Mondays. 
then of course she'll probably still do a lot of her travel videos when we travel yes so that seems to be a lot of fun i know i enjoy it so other yes. than that i think it's time to go ahead and get out of here we'll see you next and time i'm gonna hope everybody has a great day and go out and find your adventure go out and find your adventure and we'll see you next time call it a day and celebrate